But Dom on the right here is looking like he's coming down the home stretch with this model. We might actually end up seeing an answer come in here soon. Dom comes in with an answer, 4.472 pounds. That is not correct. That is not correct. That is not within tolerance. So this match is still up for grabs. Uh, we see that Dom looks like he's recognized. Uh, he's recognized kind of where he went off course there, possibly opening the door for Imants. We'll see what he does to clean this up. This is really neck and you, when you uh, when you're competing against these guys, you gotta you gotta keep in mind the Ivan exploit and think about what you can do to kind of tie tie it off a little bit, as they say. All right, here we go, guys. This next cad battle, this next cad battle between Imats and Dom on shape first SolidWorks in our semifinals of the final four begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in x.xx pounds? Here we go, a little blast from the past. You guys may have seen this one before, a couple of tournaments ago. Of course, we never use the exact same model. They're always a little bit different uh, so that nobody can go back and look up the old, old uh, value. But here we go, both of our runners, just that fast in you know 10 seconds or however long it was. They already grabbed the print. They already put it on their second screen. They already started with their plan. They planned in their brain how they're going to get through this thing. Dom is fighting for his life on the right. So he knows he's got to get this one. He's got to lock this point down or else Imants is going to move into our heads up finals match. Imants on the right, just taking his time, figuring it out. He says, you know what? I got this. I just got to plan this out a little bit. A lot of tricky geometry in this one. Uh, the you know the initial sketch. Both of our runners are creating this initial sketch, looking down on this thing from the top. I think that makes sense. You can get a lot of layout work in this uh, you know in this thing looking down from the top. I think that makes a lot of sense. But things are going to start getting tricky when you start getting up to that other end of the connecting rod, um, and so that'll be very interesting. And also that pocket that's going through the middle of the connecting rod will be kind of interesting to watch as well. While these guys are getting started on this one, I'm just gonna kind of go back through the chat a little bit and see if I need to get, if I can give any shout outs to anybody. Victor K recognized that replaced face. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I saw your comment earlier. Uh, Victor K, the current world champion of 3D CAD speed modeling is in here. Made by Mia is here and says, good luck Dom. We got a fan of Dom in the chat. Good luck Dom. Just trying to look through here and see if I can't pick out Got to have John Hirschdeck as a co-host for another tournament this year. Yep, I would love to have John as a co-host. I think we can probably make that happen. Top-rated co-host in the tournament series. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, I don't want to miss too much of the action, so I think I'm going to just get back to the bottom here, get back to the live chat. John says, we can make that happen. Nice assortment of Toby features. Thank you, Rich Penn. Rich Penn always recognizes when I have Toby features. Thank you, Rich Penn. Getting a pistonish feeling from this part. Yep, exactly. Nice, nice connecting rod here. All right, so interesting geometry there on Imansa's screen on the left. If you look in the lower left corner there, it looks like he's got a little little asymmetric geometry there. We'll see how he handles that or if he's planning for that or if that was uh, a mistake. Oh, well, there we go. That answered my question. <laughs> he definitely was planning for that. So nice work to Imants there. Uh, instantly cleaning that up. And look at Dom on the right. He's already up to that upper section. Uh, already kind of cleaning up that upper section. Very, very cool. John says he planned for that, of course. Yeah. He's, he's, I think I, sometimes I think I can pull one over on these guys and then they, they let me know. They let me know what's up. Julian PTC in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Says, thanks for the invite. Having fun watching. Nice. First tournament. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. So Imantz is now creating that pocket and he is, uh, oh, it looks like he's using a, a nice little feature there. Kind of a, Combo offset faces lighten one. Let's go. Showing off some some true.
power modeling here from Onshape, giving you the ability to, uh, you know, set set yourself up with these kind of common mechanical engineering type features. I like it. I like it. Joanne is here in the chat. Says actually made it in time for this. Awesome. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Oh, and I think we might see. Uh, I thought maybe we we're gonna see a move face there, but it looks like he's just gonna do it with a uh, with regular. Regular old sketch geometry. That's good, too. Dom on the right, creating some uh, classic offset geometry, offset sketch geometry here. Very nice. This is probably more the approach that I would I would tend to take. Uh, but, uh, yeah, BJH recognizing light. And look at Dom flipping over to that screen capture and then back. That was pretty clever. John, John recognizing the, fe the use of feature script there, one of Onshape's most powerful tools. Yes, indeed. That is uh, what truly makes it powerful, truly lets people create these kind of common mechanical engineering type features that, you know, you're going to see. I mean, this is the, this is really the power of, a, of a, a bit of functionality like feature script where one mechanical engineer says, hey, this is something that I think all the mechanical engineers in the Onshape community might need. And they create a tool like that that can be used, you know, in, in many different scenarios. So very cool to see that. But Dom on the right here is looking like he's coming down the home stretch with this model. We might actually end up seeing an answer come in here soon. Dom comes in with an answer, 4.472 pounds. That is not correct. That is not correct. That is not within tolerance. So this match is still up for grabs. Uh, we see that Dom looks like he's recognized. Uh, he's recognized kind of where he went off course there, possibly opening the door for Imants. We'll see what he does to clean this up. This is really neck and neck here. Dom looks like he he uh, missed some of those like uh, little cylinder features that were sticking out there, and now he's going to try to clean that up. Victor K says, a familiar part. Yeah, if you've been around the tournament scene for a couple of years, then you might recognize this part. And now Imant's on the left looks like he he too is struggling a little bit. I knew that upper area of this connecting rod was going to be a little bit of a struggle for our runners. The beginning of this connecting rod, I think, is pretty straightforward. Creating that pocket might be difficult. Uh, we saw that that both Dom and Imant's were able to get through that pocket, though, without any real problems. But it's this Last feature here, this upper section that our runners are trying to figure out. Dom came in with an answer 4.47. Uh, that is not correct, not within uh, the available tolerance. So Dom is now trying to figure out what he did wrong. He's recognizing there's these kind of like half tombstone cylindrical faces. Imant's on the left using delete face to try to clean things up, but that doesn't really look right either. So both of our runners are kind of running into some challenges here with this feature. Let's see what they do to clean this up. This is going to be interesting and it is going to be close. See if anybody goes as far as busted out some surfacing moves. I'm sure Crispy Co, if he was in this, he'd do some multi-body. And I'm sure if Aaron C was in this, he would just do this all with an indent. So we'll see. Jordan in the chat says 10 out of 10 for pressure. Ricardo says 350 megapascals. Nice. <laughs> Eric says, had some issues. Think I got it for real now. Oh, okay. Revising his answer. <laughs> Maybe he had the same issue that our runners had. And Mont's here doing a mirror. Looking like he's feeling pretty good about how this thing is looking. Doing what we call the final spin where you look over the print, you look over the model. Imant's coming in with an answer, 4.32. That is not correct. That is not correct. So now, now the pressure is on. Now, our runners need to both look at the model and see if they can't figure out what they did wrong. Look at the print. Look at the model. 
see if they can figure out what they did wrong. Dom is in a pretty frustrating spot. He knows what he did wrong, but he's... Oh, I was going to say he's having trouble cleaning it up, but spoke a little too soon. Imants knows what he did wrong as well, it looks like, or at least one of the things. See, we don't know if they did more than one thing wrong. That's the challenge with this tournament. Once you get it wrong one time, you don't know if there was only one thing that you did wrong or if there was multiple things. And so then you have to, you have to really be careful about burning off that second answer. The pressure is on both of our runners. If one of them submits their second wrong answer, then that's going to be it. It's going to be up to the second runner to go through and try to figure out what the correct answer is. So this is truly, truly high pressure situation here. Dom coming in with an answer 4.499 or 4.50. That is not correct. Imants coming in with an answer. 4.20. That is not correct, guys. Not correct. So both runners, not correct. That means this is a push. Our first push of the tournament. We do have a sudden death rule. Guys, if you modeled it in the chat, put in what you think your answer was in the chat. A very close round there. The pressure was definitely on. Airwick coming in with the answer, 4.27. Victor K agreeing with Airwick, 4.27. And 4.27 is the correct answer. So, wow, what a round. That was, uh, that was awesome. That's what we look for here in the tournament, right? This is like real nail-biting stuff. We didn't know who was going to get through. Let's give a GG to both the runners. I know that uh, it was a push this time around, but it's still pretty cool uh, to be able to see how close these guys were. And uh, now I see... Uh, they're going through and trying to figure out. Amazing round, yeah. Dom was so close with that offset geometry not going far enough, yeah. Yep, I think that's what the issue was, too. Very good stuff, though. Yep, that, that face right there, Dom. He's looking at it now. Very good stuff. Really fun watching those. I